welcome back to Wipotep Academy. So guys, there is a certain change in our plan. So we plan to uh, make the products page and the orders page as of now and then move to Flutter. But there are several requests that I am receiving almost every day that, sir, what, where is Flutter? Pavan, where is Flutter? There is nowhere Flutter in the series. So uh, I, I am thinking to start the uh, uh, start developing our app with Flutter as of now. And once we complete the basic development of the Flutter app, we will proceed to the next phase that is integrating the PHP and Flutter with the same project. All right. So uh, let's get started. Let me share the screen. And uh, let me open one window where I'll be uh, showing you some important tools and tips before we get started with Flutter. So the official website of Flutter is flutter.dev. Dev. Okay. And uh, all right, let me open this website. So uh, what is Flutter? Flutter is a multi-platform uh, 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 language. And uh, with the help of Flutter, we can build almost any type of application, right? So um, it may be a mobile application, or again, in mobile, we can uh, develop iOS as well as Android mobile uh, applications, web applications like uh, like uh, applications like Canva or something like that, uh, which are called the web applications, desktop applications for Windows, desktop applications for Mac, all right? And we can also uh, develop the embedded applications. But as of now, we'll be focusing on mobile. And if someone is interested more about uh, learning more about Flutter, uh, you can definitely get in touch with us. We have a separate course for Flutter, uh, a complete dedicated uh, course for Flutter as well as uh, for, uh, uh, Flutter and PHP where uh, you will be learning in-depth knowledge uh, from zero to the advanced level, both in PHP and Flutter, all right? So uh, uh, at first, what we have to do, we just have to go to the uh, development guide. And I think I can find the guide here. Okay, okay, right, mobile, Flutter on mobile. Let us check what we can see on the mobile page. See some samples, watch videos, and get started in docs. All right, so uh, this is the doc which I was expecting. So write your first Flutter app. But before writing the first Flutter app, you have to install Flutter on your system. All right, so let me click on install. And uh, you can install Flutter in your Windows application, in your Mac OS, Linux OS, or Chrome OS, and most popular operating systems uh, as, uh, as of now are Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. You can choose your uh, operating system and just click on if you are using a uh, Windows application or uh, Windows laptop, just click on Windows. So here are some basic requirements that you should know uh, at first or prior uh, using Flutter. So you should have at least Windows 10 or later of 64 bit or 86 by 64 based. Disk space, minimum disk space should be 1.64 GB and you should have some uh, tools like Windows PowerShell 5.0, Git for Windows, and you should also have some editors, which will be, uh, uh, which which you can find uh, in in the next step in setup and editor. So let us say if you want to uh, install Flutter on your Windows application, Windows uh, operating system, you just have to download this file, and there are some basic, uh, uh, what what it said like uh, basic configuration that you have to do and uh, you can find all the details in this page or if you're finding it difficult to install flutter on your windows there are several and thousands of not maybe thousands because flutter is very new but there are hundreds of videos on youtube you can just uh, go through them and try to install flutter on your uh, on your uh, operating system and if uh, despite of all the trials and all, all 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 your hard work if you are unable to install flutter on your application or maybe on your operating system you can just uh, uh, comment in this video in the comment box and I'll be uh, developing one separate video for installing Flutter on the operating system that you are using right now. All right. So this is all about installation process. The next step which we will be uh, following will be the setup for an editor. You can use any editor, but I am uh, suggesting you either to use Visual Studio Code or maybe Android Studio. But in this video or in this project, we'll be using Android Studio uh, and yeah, uh, in, in most of our cases, we'll be using Android Studio to develop the first Flutter application. All right, so let's have a test drive. 
let me go to uh, this page and create the first Flutter app. So in order to create the first Flutter app, what I will do, I will simply go to this action terminal and editor. And I'm assuming that you have already installed Flutter on your uh, computer. And now since I'm using Mac, so I will be opening my terminal. All right. And at first I will go to the location where I want to develop the Flutter app. All right. So in this case, I will be creating one new folder in my desktop and the name of the folder will be uh, like uh, flutter php let me use underscore instead php flutter php yeah simply flutter php all right and then i will type cd drag the folder and paste it here and i have arrived or i have i, I, I and, 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 and i have changed my location to uh, from uh, maybe the root or yeah from maybe root to this folder all right now i can install flutter in this folder to install flutter in this folder so flutter create my app so i have already yeah let me do this thing let me create one more folder inside this folder okay and let me copy flutter create my app and instead i'll instead of my app i'll be using flutter php app php app all right so it will take some time based on the speed of your computer all right and yeah i can see some messages here a new version of flutter is available since i have uh, installed flutter last year so i think there are several updates as of now all done i can see that flutter uh, uh, the new project new flutter project has been installed so let me go inside this folder i can see one new folder flutter php app and if i open this folder i can see several functions here all right okay and let's say it's also possible there are several other things run the app all right perfect so now i will i will close this editor since we are uh, since we have moved to flutter from php and html okay so now i will open my android studio you can even use uh, vjs code visual studio code but uh, i'm more comfortable with android studio and here i will open a new folder which i have just created on desktop and the name of the folder is flutter php and this is the app which i have just installed all right and trust this project it will take some time based on the speed of the computer okay and let me explain you the file structure of flutter till the time okay yeah till the time all the all the gradles or maybe all the export bill is trying to install apple software okay let me install apple software as well okay so on the left hand side you will be able to see several folders the first folder the name of the first folder is android and inside this folder you will be able to find all the codes related to your android application since we have already discussed and uh, it's also been written on the main website of flutter that with the help of flutter we'll be able to create multi-platform applications such as mobile web desktop all right so uh, for uh, for android devices we have to use this folder android folder okay next for the ios devices for iphones uh, the codes will be stored inside this folder for linux system if you are using any uh, linux uh, computer and if you want to develop an application or maybe a desktop application for linux all the codes will be stored here or if you are using uh, or, or if if you are trying to build an app for windows application so it will be stored in this section or maybe if you are trying to build an app for web it will be stored in this section all right so now what i have to do i have to start my emulator and all the details regarding android studio emulator there are hundreds of uh, youtube videos available you can just go through the all the free uh, video details and you will be able to learn what is an emulator what is an ide all right so now let me click on the device manager and click on the emulator which i have previously installed on my system it will take some time to open and let me make it float okay okay view mode 
and let me make it float it's floating now okay and now what i will do i will simply click on the run may run main dot that file i will simply click, click on this button and i can see some messages in my console okay so all the details uh, regarding the app maybe uh, if you have committed some mistake maybe uh, there are some modifications that we can done to enhance the performance of the app all the details will be available in this console so we won't be focusing much about the console as of now but let us check how the app perform performs or uh, how how does the app looks like and i just want to add one more information here uh, whatever you build with flutter maybe an ios application or maybe an android application it will be a native application you don't have to create any a pwa or progressive web application or maybe a hybrid web application all the uh, web applications that you will be uh, creating through flutter will be purely native all right so uh, th this is the main reason people are now considering uh, flutter as their favorite programming language and uh, i have made this series php plus flutter just because most of the web developers are adapted with php most of the web developers as of now uh, uses php okay so because it is a widely used uh, programming language and if you are well aware about php if you just learn flutter and the connection between flutter and php you will be able to create beautiful apps without spending much of your time so this is the app which we have just created so this is the app which we have just created and here is some basic function if i click on this plus button i am able to C one two three four five six and uh, something like this the values in the incremental basis. The most important thing about Flutter is that Flutter supports hot reload. What I mean to say is that if you make any changes, so let me uh, change the name of the uh, uh, this app bar from from Flutter demo homepage to Wipotep Academy Tutorial. For that, I just have to go to the library which is called the lib folder and in the lib folder i am able to see a page called or not a page sorry a file called main.dart let me open this file main.dart let me let me minimize these things so this is main.dart and here i can see flutter demo okay and in the app bar in the app bar, I can see Flutter demo homepage. So here is the title of the Flutter app. We bought app. We bought app. Academy. PHP. Flutter. Tutorial. E U T O R I A L. If I press the buttons, Control and S, immediately the application or immediately this ide this ide tell uh, sorry this id told the emulator that there has been a sense in the id so you just say and if there is any sense made on the code you just incorporate that code into your emulator so now the sense which we have just made on our code we bought app academy php flutter tutorial i can see that code here without sorry i can see that message here without reloading or without rebuilding the app so this is the main magic of flutter and this practically saves a lot of your time okay you don't have to build the app again and again okay let us try some another thing so app bar okay with the title content body constant so you have pushed this button many times here it's written you have pushed this button many times press again to get incremented value save i've just saved it and the changes got immediately incorporated in this app all right so this is a very basic app about flutter so in the next video what we will be doing we will be designing the same app into an e-commerce application 
and connect it directly from our PHP project. So this is all about today's video. Thank you for watching and subscribe this channel for future updates.